Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at a few simple queries, how to run some uh, queries in uh, SQLite. So I have this customers.db SQLite database uh, that I'll be working on. To see how to create this, you can please see my previous video. So now what I'll do is I'll click on this box here and just type CMD and open the command prompt. So here is a command prompt and now I'll just type in SQLite 3 space customers.db and that should open up the SQLite database. Now I can take a look at all the tables that are there in this by just typing dot schema and these are tables that I have already created. So the first table is customers, this next table is products and the third table is CP which stands for customers and products and each table has a bunch of fields and so on. So let's say I want to take a look at all the records that are there in the customers table. So what I can do is just write a simple select query. I can say select star from customers and I put a semicolon press enter you'll see all the records in the customers table retrieved for you and they're all separated by this uh, uh, vertical line here and that's just a field separator so this is how you can write a simple query now you can also write a similar query for products instead of select star from customers you can say products by the way I just press the up arrow to retrieve the previous command and I just edited that so that's a nice uh, labor saving uh, method for you so now select star from products will retrieve all the records in the products table next what if you want to filter certain records so let's say among the customers table you only want to retrieve um, maybe just uh, not all of the values so so uh, let's say from the customers table you only want to retrieve the customer name and the status so you can write a query like this so a bunch of things are happening here so what I did was I said just select the C name and the status there is customer name and status and so it retrieved only the customer name and their status and uh, what I also did was to hit enter after this first line so since I didn't put a semicolon and since this is an incomplete command SQLite is then looking for another line so it puts a dot 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 followed by the greater than sign and I can then type in from customers and semicolon that completes the query and now it will retrieve all the records but only the customer name and the status so what we did here is called formally called a projection that means we are only selecting certain columns from our table now we can also do what is known as a selection or a filter we can say let's get only those records where the status is greater than 25 so that means we're going to avoid the this record and this record because their status is less than 25 so let's write a query like that so I have a new command here called where and I can specify the status has to be greater than equals 25 and press enter now it retrieves only those records where the status is at least 25 now this whole thing is called a select query and the reason it's called a select query is because it begins with the uh, keyword select now from is also a keyword and where is also a keyword these are all words that are reserved by SQLite they are, spe they are special words you can't call it anything else and then you have these other words which are defined by you which is the name of the field C name status or the name of the table customers or again name of the field status and then this is a criterion greater than equals 25 followed by the semicolon so this is a simple example of how to write a query in SQLite I hope you liked it and thanks for watching